The sun is shining, the birds are making noise. We had a fresh four to six inches of snow yesterday, but the good news is I didn't have to move any of it. Well, thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. Got a new flag here, like a fancy new flag. I'm gonna hang this up in the shop. It came from a fan. <laughs> Man, I am exhausted after that 300 foot drive. A little windier down here. Well, first things first, we got a load from FBN. Just took a good sized load of seed and chemical from them last week in the back wall here. Now they got more. I think there's, I'm guessing there's just two totes of seed on this load. We'll find out. Of course, they sent me the email information. I should know exactly what's on it, but I didn't read it. Dogs get excited when skid loaders run. What is she doing? <laughs> there is box number five now total here of Enlist E3 beans. More on the way, but this will get us started. For the farmers out there watching, if you're not already a member of Farmers Business Network, you should at least check into them link down below. Spring is coming. So obviously I'm not too concerned with the doors being left open and everything freezing inside the shop anymore because the temperatures are getting lower. But I am concerned about other things like getting water in my basement. Which is why I have a Simply Safe sensor down in my basement just like I have in the utility room here in the shop to let me know if there's any water problems. A lot of people spend a little bit more time gone during the summertime or the spring. If you're worried about keeping an eye on your home, your place of business, whatever it might be, Simply Safe can help you out with that right now. They've got 24 seven professional monitoring powered by Fast Protect technology, which is exclusively only from Simply Safe. Which means that if a threat is detected, say some creepy weirdo with a mustache tries to break into your shop and steal all your old ITC receivers, the professionals at Simply Safe are going to contact you and immediately send out first responders even if you're away or unable to respond. It's less than a dollar a day. There are no long-term contracts. It gets shipped right to your door. Setup is super easy. You don't need to set up any kind of a service appointment or anything like that. They've got motion detectors for when creepy guys with mustaches try to break in. They've got glass break sensors for when creepy guys with mustaches try to break in. They've got carbon monoxide detectors, fire alarms, panic buttons. Temp sensors as well, those are fun. They've actually saved me a couple of times, just like the water sensors did last summer. And one of my favorite parts is the fact that you can just log right into the cameras and you can see the creepy dudes with mustaches making YouTube videos in your shop. Heck, you can even push this little button to talk to them. Springtime is an awesome time to get yourself set up with your own system. Maybe pair it with a home improvement project of some sort. And right now you can save 20% and get your first month for free when you sign up for interactive monitoring. All you got to do is go to simplysafe.com slash millennial farmer to get started on customizing your own system. There is a link down below. Check them out. They've been good for us. There's a reason we've got everything installed with Simply Safe here on the farm. There really is no safe like Simply Safe. Hey, I was going to pet you. Come here. Come here. I feel relatively confident saying that I'm not going to need the snow blower or the snow pusher anymore this year. So, I think I'm going to unhook them and put the box blade on so we can scrape this yard and level it off a little bit. Not the muddy areas like this. But as soon as it starts to dry a little bit, that's a good time to start leveling things off. Ideally, I think the snow blower should go in the back of this shed. But everything's got to come out of here at some point. I'm not going to do all that today because we got like three more days of rain coming. And we're bringing fresh gravel in anyway, so I'm going to unhook this thing outside. It's going to sit outside just for now. I won't keep it out there. I'll just have it out there until we get things finished off in the shed here because we are planning to put some concrete under the doors so that they seal up, level things off, bring in some fresh gravel put up some shelving units in the back. We're gonna move the diesel tanks back over. We got a whole plan, it's gonna be great. See if I can get this truck to move on the slime here, get it out of the way so I can get back to where I want to. Look at that. I do know we have one flat tire, a drive tire on this truck. So I'm not gonna drive it around too much, but I gotta get it out of the way. Gotta get it out of the... See, I can tell it's flat because of the way it is. Little tip for beginners. 
Tires that aren't flat are usually touching the outer sides of the wheel. I don't mean like like this part, but but I mean like inside. You know what I mean. It was a failed joke. And now we'll head back to the uh, corner where we hide a lot of junk to make the yard look clean. I know some people are going to mention it, so I'll throw a board underneath that PTO. I won't let it sit there in the mud all year. That was easy. May as well get that off there too, because the gravel is way too thought out now to really use that even if we did get snow, which I could have easily done when I was just back here exactly where I'm gonna put it, but I didn't. I thought it'd be fun to drive across the yard and get the box blade first and then come back here. No, I got lucky. That doesn't always pull out that easy. Now stay. That thing has a tendency to like hop, hop halfway back in. And then when I try to unhook it, I bend it. I just did a little difficult math stuff in my head. It has been five months since I unhooked that bucket and put the snow pusher and the snow blower on. Five months since we needed that stuff. It's been a long winter. I'm just gonna let that sit while the yard dries up a little bit. And then that way when we get rain tomorrow, I'll be ready for the next time it dries up. And instead of messing around and getting that tire off the rim, I'm just gonna shut this down right here and hope, come on, hope that it starts again. There have been times when we've had difficulties trying to start our semi-trucks. Digi. I've got a few minutes left here before I've gotta actually head up to our Alexandria shooting park for a quick meeting up there with the boys. For those of you who follow me closely, you know that we bought into part of the shooting park, the local shooting park about 15 miles from here. But it's garbage day, so I gotta get that out first. So I'm gonna use the Polaris Ranger here because it's handy and because there's a trailer on my pickup. Well, I didn't, I, I wasn't inviting you. Come on in. I can't fit in there. Get in the back seat, girls. Why did you hop in? Now, who's been eating Doritos in the Ranger? Anna. There, back seat. Get in the back seat. What are you scared now? You, you ladies are goony. Maybe if we start it, she'll jump in, Didge. You can be in the front seat because you're little and you're already here. Well, get in then. Anna, get in the back seat. There. Jeez. I can be rude to them if I want. They don't pay me anything for these rides. They build these things awfully fancy now. We got heating, air conditioning, GPS, radio, power windows. You name it. It's got it all. Plus, the dogs love it. Grill's good. Handy. It's handy. I think it might be a good time to even run down and grab the mail with it. Think so, Ditch? Absolutely nothing important. It's exactly how I like my mail. We probably have a little while before all of that melts yet, but things look pretty good out that side. A little wet, but good. All right, off to a meeting. I hate meetings. Sometimes they're just a necessary evil. I, I skip as many as possible. I also need a very important tool from one of the most convenient tool stores in the world. That's right, you had to know it. They got everything, all the time. Just kidding, they uh, definitely didn't have what I need. They had a display model, but they wouldn't sell it to me. What the heck? 
I wanted a, an air blaster, a bead blaster, for uh, for popping that tire back on the semi truck. We need one of those around anyway. Let's get a number 14 bootlegger uh, with cheese. They'll be closer to where they should be. Highs today will be mostly in the 40s and 50s. Two hours later, and I'm rolling back into the farm here. Shooting park's good. We're open, we're moving. Clays are being thrown, rounds are being shot. All good things. Next up, I'm gonna see if the articulating tractor in here, the 9570R, will fire up. I can pull it in the shop here, kind of get it ready. That's one of our two tillage tractors for the spring, so I'll pull it in there and we'll kind of start looking at it, see what it might need for maintenance. We also need to get that field cultivator down there kind of pulled out of the mud. I'm guessing it's real muddy down there right now. I'll see if this tractor will start first, but we gotta pull that out because we actually have a new one coming and the local dealership is gonna take that one back. It's drying out a little bit in here. Not enough. Look at that. This thing's been sitting here for a little while, so I was a little concerned about it. What are we beeping about? Nothing. I'm thinking we'll look at that tomorrow when it's raining. For now, I'm gonna do other things because I can have the doors open. We'll start going through that tractor tomorrow. I want the seed tender out as well. We got some work to do to that. So, first thing, move stuff out of the way. Day one here, really. So, a lot of just moving things around. in the skiddy moving there now things are positioned a little bit more conveniently for when we do get to work on them even with the rain coming I'm gonna start pulling things out it doesn't hurt them to get a nice warm rain on them anyway or cold rain or whatever temperature the rain decides to be Let's see if this beast will start. It was a little bit slow, but so far, I'm doing good on items starting today. Leave this hooked up for now because we may be using it to haul some corn out because we do have about a dozen loads to go out hopefully next week if the gravel roads are in okay shape and then actually once we get into may we have quite a few more loads to haul out so we'll be planting spraying hauling may is going to be really busy may as well get this silly race car out of the way let's see if the 9870 will fire up now and then i can pull this header out because I want to get to the other 9570, which is back right there. And I'm betting if this thing does start, it's going to be kind of a fun little cold start experience. So I'll leave the camera on the outside here for you guys. Because we're all about entertainment on this channel. Okay, come on, baby. Although I'm in a combine, which is not a spring thing, but you know, big 
big machines, big green machines. This one doesn't have the folding top, but I was off a day on my on my rain days. So it doesn't actually rain tomorrow, it's the day after. I guess my reason for telling you that is to justify the reason I'm leaving an open hopper combine outside, because I'll probably put it away tomorrow when it's not raining before it does rain the next. You know what I meant. A little breezy out here, that's good. If anyone is looking for a good used 612C header, 30 inch spacing, dad would love to sell this thing. And it's a good header. We're only selling it because I replaced it with this 612 FC folding. I have no idea what he would want for it, but if somebody's seriously interested, shoot me an email. It's down below and we'll figure it out. Next big green machine, we will see if she will start. All right, here we go. Even though this is the newest with the most electronics, I think it's gonna start. That's a good sign. Metallic on the radio is a good sign. But I can't play it for you due to copyright laws. It's running. Seems like the driest part of the yard's over here. Although I've kind of run out of dry spots, but I don't know where else to park all this stuff. It's either gonna be on top of the slop or in the way or both. Remember that issue when I parked it last fall? I stored it in a shed all winter long and it didn't resolve itself. Weird. Maybe if we just leave it alone all summer, it'll be fixed by fall again. One more item to pull before I got most everything out of there for now. Then we can really start getting to work here tomorrow and the next day. Moment of truth. Last one for the day. Be good to me. Oh, should maybe, maybe pay attention to these. That's a, that's a good one there. That's a good sign. No, no, copyright lies. Turn it off. Here we go. There we go. A whole pile of green iron sitting in the corner. I think I gotta go and get Onyx from trap shooting practice and then I'm gonna come back and unload that race car in there so that that trailer's empty. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.